rights of the Senate. I'm covering the trial today for uh, Jacobin. And I was at the court martial of Chelsea Manning, where I joined a number yeah. of people, I don't know how many years ago it was, where we took Obama's Nobel Prize and laid it on the gates of Fort Meade, saying Obama should give his Nobel Prize to Chelsea Manning, who has done more for peace than he had. This is the most important, the reason why I am still here 14 years later isn't just because the U.S. and the U.K. governments will not stop persecuting WikiLeaks. It's because this is the most important press freedom trial of the 21st century, not just for my country, where the stake of the First Amendment is on the line, but for the world. Julian Assange is not an American, WikiLeaks is not an American publication, but the U.S. government says they can come and find you anywhere in the world and put you on trial for exposing their war crimes. If that precedent is set, it will be the death of journalism in the U.S., it will be the death of journalism the world over, and it will be the death of all of our rights to say no to war and militarism. We have to remember that when the collateral murder video came out, when the Iraq and Afghan war logs were, made, were released, many people were disturbed by how the corporate media had cheerleaded on the Iraq and Afghanistan wars, and WikiLeaks was a breath of fresh air reminding us what critical journalism that spoke truth to power was. Here we are 14 years later, and the media is once again cheering on more wars, a genocide in Gaza, bombing in Yemen, maybe another Iraq war, who knows? From the very beginning, the US government knew that you can destroy journalism by destroying the sources. The imprisonment of Chelsea Manning, the attacks on Edward Snowden and Daniel Hale have always been part of a backdoor war on journalism. Now they are going through the front door and trying to lock away the journalist himself, and we cannot allow that to happen. Thank you very much.